just you just got the bid that you made, right? Which then what, what what's going to end up happening is if you get the bid that you made, you're paying exactly the value of the ads to you. That's so that means Google pockets. You you don't make any. Okay, so well, th this in fact ensures that you make a profit no better uh, because the second if you bid truthfully you are guaranteed to make a profit in, in this scenario, in this scenario. There is another one you wouldn't make a profit you wouldn't make a profit you would be just break even yes so this uh, uh, so it's like it's not such a bad thing that even though like you're getting less than Google making it out of you you're paying Google Service, right? You are making Google for us. Are you on the payroll of Google by any chance? <laughs> well, uh, uh, look, these guys came up with uh, with a schema and uh, made it fabulously rich. Um, and if you if you if you pay the highest, uh, then it changes the, the game. Yeah, of course, the game changes because then you have to bid lower than the value in order to make profit. Okay, so um, let us see what happens though. Uh, what happens if the if A becomes sneaky and he bids only seven dollars so lower than the value of B. So scenario two Scenario two. Um, so I A plays uh, sneaky, offering only seven dollars, even though his value is uh, uh, twelve. What happens then? So you have two, still three bidders, two spaces. This one 400 clicks per hour, this one 300 clicks. Now the value for this guy is 12, but he bids only seven. This guy bids honestly eight, and this guy also bids honestly four. So now who wins? Uh, now B wins. So B wins, uh, and gets charged uh, $7 uh, per click. Right? Then uh, A wins uh, second place. <coughs> Uh, gets charged uh, four dollars per click, and again, the C uh, loses. Uh, so let's see the profits now. So profit for B is um, let's see. Uh, eight dollars times four hundred clicks per hour minus seven dollars times four hundred clicks per hour, which gives you uh, four hundred per hour. Uh, let's see profit for A. A wins the second place. So, and his profit is actually $12, which he didn't bid, right? But that's his real, real value. So 
300 <coughs> minus uh, four dollars times 300. So what is this? Uh, this is 3,600 minus 1,200. This is 0, 0, 4, uh, 2,400. So notice in this, is it right? Yeah, 2,400. So if we be truthfully, he would get only 1,600. But if he passes the highest with the highest paying uh, uh, space and essentially bids to win the second one, then the difference between the frequencies is not that big. So that even winning this but paying much less, which is just $4 as opposed to $8, so he will pay only half the charge and for slightly reduce the traffic. Yes. Does Google disclose the number of things per hour to that? Yes. In which case you can kind of do a differential, right? To figure out like how many what is the trade-off between the number of things produced. So in fact it does open up the possibility for abuse, but Google does stick with this policy uh, because uh, alternative because it's easy to explain the mechanism to the bidders right now there exists a strategy that actually for multiple object bid uh, auctions in fact stimulates everyone to bid truthfully and uh, it is called weekly uh, clark growth uh, or gross uh, auction. So let us now see how to improve this. Uh, but as you will see, and in fact, when I was first time reading this, I uh, remember it took me a while to persuade myself that uh, the second strategy really works. Uh, and uh, it's not that easy. You know, if you have massive bidding and lots of small businesses bidding, uh, it would be pretty much a challenge to explain the mechanism to the bidders. So let us now see how to make the multiple item bid. And there are, in fact, um, companies that uh, resale the art space that use the second uh, strategy, which is abbreviated as uh, um, VCG. The other thing is that the people who are doing the bidding have to realize that the optimal strategy is to be yes. the value of the item for it. Uh, well, this, this is kind of, uh, uh, you can disclose this, you can simply give the argument that we presented. Uh, well, so it's not disclosing how to cheat if there are multiple art spaces. Um, so for homework, uh, as you suggested, try to see what would be the optimal manipulation of the system. Yes? Sorry, say it again. I mean, how does this protect, uh, prevent against people just randomly clicking on the ad team if they don't have any uh, customers? Yeah, so this is kind of statistically prorated. So Google simply keeps uh, uh, true, uh, you know, just how many true clicks, right? And it is responsibility of the bidder, and it, he gives uh, this information. Uh, to the bidders, right? Google makes no guarantee what fraction of these 400 clicks will be actually producing profit. It only gives the raw data how many clicks. And then um, the customers, uh, uh, they get a report eventually uh, how many clicks there were and uh, uh, they can then compare what profit they made on average. So this bid 
is to be calculated by the customer from the data that Google sends them. Huh? Okay, so let us now, let me now show you a very tricky strategy called, um, called uh, BCG, which is abbreviated for big right? So 
then B will get 400, C will get 300. So what is the total loss? Um, with A present, uh, B gets um, eight. <coughs> uh, sorry, B gets eight. Well, let me see. But uh, no, massive half. Just to the bins or to the profits now, I forget. Let me see. B gets um, 8 times 300. C gets uh, uh, 0. Right? So here, the revenue to B would be eight times, so damage to B, or to B's uh, revenue, is uh, what he would have gotten, which is eight times 400, minus what he actually got uh, in the real world, which is 8 times um, 300, which is then 800. Damage to C's revenue is uh, if without A, C would have gotten uh, four dollars times three hundred, and with a present he gets zero, so his damage is twelve hundred. So total damage caused. By A is uh, uh, 2000. Thus, A pays 2000. A, so let's compute uh, uh, the profit for A. Okay, let's now compute what B should get, pay, yeah? Okay. So if this is getting dry, I have to find another marker. So, let's see price B pay, so. So if you throw out B, then you get A with 1,200. And, uh, sorry, with, uh, what did they say? With $12 per click. And then you have 
uh, you have seen uh, with uh, four dollars per click. So in these circumstances, A would get 400 and C would get 300. So B causes zero damage to A and uh, uh, 1,200 or uh, 4 times 300 equals 1,200 uh, damage to B. To B, so, oh, sorry, to C. Uh, C. So B uh, gets charged um, 1,200. So profit for C, ah, sure. okay, this one looks the best. So profit for uh, B is uh, eight times. Um, 8 times 300 uh, minus his damage is 1200 which is uh, 1200 right okay so these are the profits the prices oh my god I just got these markers from the Secretary downstairs and look there already uh, of that. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, so they are anemic. Okay, let's see what happens if A cheats. So now, if A cheats, then this will be the situation. So A beats only seven dollars. B beats eight dollars. C beats four dollars. Right? And uh, in this situation, B wins uh, 400 clicks per hour space, and A uh, wins $300 per click. Let's compute the charges for uh, A and B. So charge for B. OK. Uh, damage. So A is, what's the damage to A? If we uh, remove B from the scene, then we will get A bidding 7 uh, and getting the 400 space. And we will get C bidding 4 and he gets $300 space. So A would have gotten uh, 7 times 400 minus what he actually uh, got, which is 7 times 300, which is equal to 700, right? No. Yeah, yeah, it is 700. Uh, damage to C is, uh, well, C would have, without being the picture, C would have gotten four times uh, 300. And with B in the picture, C gets zero. So damage to C is uh, 1,200. So B. 
pays uh, 1900 uh, uh, profit would be uh, let's see b is 8 times 4 hundred uh, minus 1900 what's that well, this is 3200 minus 1900 which is uh, uh, 1300 right now let us see how much uh, how much a pays uh, so a pays what will be uh, the what is the damage caused by a well if you remove a then you will have a b bidding eight dollars right uh, and c bidding four dollars b gets 400 click space c gets 300 click space so um, uh, uh, damage to B is equal to uh, 3200 so 8 times 400 minus what actually uh, uh, what okay so let me see I'm computing damage for A yeah? so B got 8 times 400 uh, wait a second. Uh, so A, so uh, to, uh, so there is no damage to B, right? Because uh, uh, B is the the winner, right? So uh, uh, so A causes no damage. To um, B and damage of uh, to C is what? Uh, it's uh, four times three hundred minus zero because with the, um, A present uh, C doesn't get anything. So this is. Uh, 1200 so a pays uh, 1200 uh, profit is uh, uh, let's see 8 what's the profit for a 7 times 300 minus 1200 which is 2100 minus 1200 which is only $900 so notice A for when he didn't bid truthfully got a profit of only $900 while here uh, profit for A is uh, when did we compute profit for A here it is uh, is uh, 2800 so they got hammered for not uh, bidding truthful now this is just one example and in the remaining time I just have enough time to tell you why this is true in general Alex, does, does this work for like, open options? Or just sorry? does this work for for what options? Open options. Right. This is all uh, uh, open options in the sense that bidders can see each other's bids, uh, but not the values, in right? A public option, then wouldn't the loss accumulate like, indefinitely? Like uh, be, uh, you have to pay for losses for all. Uh, well, yes, but you pay only for losses that you cause. Um, you said A's profit is bad, but was it 7 was A's sneaky bid? A still values at 
Oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. The profit is, uh, I'm sorry, thank you very much. Sorry, I didn't sleep at all last night. My insomnia kicked in. So profit is uh, uh, $12 uh, times 300 minus what he has to pay damage is 1200 so this is uh, 3600 minus 1200 and this comes to 2400 uh, how much is was here 2800 so not that big difference but still reduced yes so what is a sorry why does a equals b1 because b1 so regardless of whether B, whether A is in or not, it doesn't change uh, the, the, value. the value. Okay, so why is this true in general? So general setup. Bidders uh, uh, I in the range from one to n uh, items uh, J in the range one to M uh, the note the bids of uh, uh, bitter I for items item J by uh, say V uh, I J right um, Yeah, I guess the reason why I put it here, V, is because in the book they use V, but actually we use uh, B, so let me uh, change the notation from the book uh, and call B by B, I, J. Okay. So, <coughs> uh, so note, uh, these might not be uh, truthful right um, so how do we decide who is the winner again the highest bit wins right so um, uh, Winner is determined, I mean the outcome, better to say, yeah? is determined uh, so that the sum of uh, B, I, J, so that uh, the bitter I gets item J is uh, maximal. Right, so you pick the highest bid for the first item, uh, then the highest bid for the second item, and uh, uh, so forth. Um, we want to show that, uh, in fact, uh, 
Uh, yeah, we now have to describe how uh, the winners, how the winners are charged. So this is different to what we just did, though, isn't Slightly it? Slightly different. Because yes. now each bidder makes different bids. Yes. Different yes. Uh, well, this was uh, we kind of simplified. The equivalent would be if each bidder in the first place, which is not how Google does it, by the way. If each uh, Google asks you to bid per click, so in that there all the bids are proportional to the number of clicks, right? Uh, times the the bid. Uh, but if uh, the, the equivalent would be if uh, uh, each person can bid different prices per click for different items. Uh, I just simplified it here. Uh, when uh, uh, the bidders bid just price per click, so it is a little bit different. Uh, so in this setup, can someone win multiple items if they bid the most? Uh, that's a good question, and I have to admit, I I think it's a limited. Uh, well, we will see from the proof uh, how it works, but uh, I believe uh, every bidder wins one item, so you assign for the, how does it work? You maximize uh, this subject to the constraint that for every i, at most one j is assigned, I believe. Uh, you can try it as a homework, what happens if you remove that? Uh, assumption. So how does the bit, each bit that gets changed, to charge? Um, so um, if I gets item J, uh, then the valuation of uh, all items is of the form um, 